our application for our new rental apartment was just accepted, but as we quickly moved towards our moving date, problems compound that threatened to put our whole move in jeopardy. But as things keep falling into place, the kids are finally able to see their new home for the first time. Okay guys, welcome home. Well, it's typhoon season in Japan, so it means when typhoons come, you get a lot of rain and sometimes wind too, and it's dangerous. A Category 4 typhoon is approaching Japan and is supposed to move through over the next day. Japan is pretty well prepared for most typhoons, but the big ones can really cause havoc. It might be raining outside, but oh, it's nice inside. Sarah, what's going on? It's raining. It's raining? Yeah. You wanna come see it? And it's super loud. Okay. Fortunately, the storm wasn't as bad as predicted and moved through in the night. But it's not just this storm that has us concerned, but two other storms that are backed up as if in line behind this one. Everyone wants good weather when they're moving, and that's certainly true in our case. We're praying for good weather. It is so incredibly humid today. My goodness, it's supposed to rain later too. <laughs> well, it sure looks like the fall, but it does not feel like the fall. It is so warm and super humid. In English, we have to say two words, hot and humid. But in Japan, they actually have one word for it all. Hushiatsui. Very convenient, this word. The winds of change were blowing, and in this case, right through our house as we were preparing for our big move that was still not finalized yet. This is what packing looks like. Oh my goodness. Let's go see what's going on over here. <gasps> what's going on in here? Lego Mario. Lego Mario. Mommy's getting them all together for the move. Make sure no Lego Mario is left behind. We're all done. That one's done. That one's a short one. Let's add it to this, this yellow one. Oh, nice. So we are on our way. We have a number of meetings today, plus staff meeting. Then afterwards, we have to get busy on all the stuff we have to do for a move. One of the first things is we got to sign up for the bank. We have address changes. We have schools that need to change. We have internet that needs to change. What else? There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen here soon. Well, how do you feel about moving here? Oh, it's exciting. It's overwhelming all the things you have to do. As a foreigner, I think it's just a little more overwhelming. <laughs> Thankfully, we have friends who help us. There we go. Here's our Paz Coffee Shop. Four years running now, right? That's pretty cool. Paz Coffee Shop is just about to open for the day, and the Paz Church staff meets here regularly for meetings. We opened this shop around the same time we started this channel, and it is one of the big reasons we chose a smaller place that was close over a larger place far away. While our meetings are productive, we really enjoy our time together too, so it's nice to do some business as usual in the midst of the moving mayhem. No job is perfect, but having work you love to do is a blessing all its own. What do you got here? This is a double shot macchiato. A real one, not the weird Starbucks stuff. This is the real stuff. And it's awesome. It's really good. It's amazing. It'll change your life, actually. <laughs> In the deepest ways possible. There we go. Some of them might not like, I don't know if they'll be able to. It's all Sunday. That's chicken soup for the song. Where's the chicken Oh. Look at Ben, he's full on winter mode here. He's just yeah. enjoying his coffee <laughs> with his parka on. Oh, so good. I've been waiting for fall. <laughs> Working fun aside, moving day was coming closer and we still didn't have any papers signed or any boxes for the movers. But one of those things was about to change. Our boxes are being delivered. It's a truck full of boxes and all the boxes here for us to start using. We soon had a formidable stack of boxes in our entryway. Well, it just became even more real, didn't it? That's a lot of boxes. It's a lot of boxes. My goodness. How many do we have here? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 big ones. <laughs> My dishes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 little ones. <laughs> we have a lot of crap in this. <laughs> Here, let's try one and see how big they are. 
to at least put the heavy things in them. And then the lighter things we can transport on our own. Then we tape. This is the first box. Here it is, right now. Let's do this thing. See, it's good size, but yeah. it's not a beast. That's right. It's like I have all my plants in here now. Looks like the plants are the first to safely be stored. Let's get an idea of size and ready or not. Ready or not. Here it comes. Well, the typhoon missed us, which is really nice, but all of that warm, windy, rainy weather came this way. And it's been quite the weather today just with the rain and then all of a sudden the sun, but lots of wind always. Well, the winds of change are blowing and they're certainly blowing our way. And while we know there's gonna be lots of things that we like about the next place that we're gonna live in, we're gonna be very nostalgic about the place where we live. This is very special for us. Eight and a half years here, our kids grew up here special memories. I'm glad it lives on in the YouTube archives. <laughs> well, I was out getting shots. It's beautiful over here, but over here, this is black and the rain has started, so I gotta get back. From sunshine to downpour. Let me tell you what, I got wet. Kind of like this guy here. But the biggest change of all will no doubt be for our kids. Talking about school transfers, when's it gonna happen? Oh my goodness. Josh and Sarah will be on Jugatsu. <laughs> Wait, do we need to start earlier than us? Yes, because we're moving. Oh yeah, we are. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I often drive Becca and Anna's school because they have a 40 minute walk from here to their junior high school. Right, Anna? Yes. The move means we have to move junior high schools, which isn't so great. But the nice thing is, is the new junior high school is very close, less than 10 minute walk from where we'll be living. Have a blessed day. Are you gonna be too cold, Anna? Oh my goodness. The Mama Tati was a real game changer for Ruth. And now that we're gonna be living a little further away from the coffee shop, we're gonna get a Papa Tati for me, an electric bike. Here we go. And I'm super excited because he'll stop borrowing my bike all the time and use his own. Here we go, it's Papa Chatty time. <laughs> there are a lot of options, aren't there? A lot of options. Oh my goodness. We got our bike. We got my bike, actually. So another thing scratched off our list. And the packing continues. Okay. What's going on up here? Is it one day? Should I do this in slow motion again? Yeah, you get like the boom. Okay. That didn't work. The pet bottle didn't work in there. The rest of it was pretty cool though, huh? Guess what daddy's gonna do? Papa Chatty! Gonna go ride my Papa Chatty for the yeah, first you, time. You. Yeah, you can watch, okay? Come on. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Now he doesn't have to borrow mine. Japan and electric bikes are a match made in heaven. After eight and a half years of living here, I'm finally getting my own. This feels nice. Yeah, it's gonna crash into me. <laughs> Look at that to match my shorts. Cool. This goes with your dress. Mm -hmm. This. Okay. Gloves I can get rid of. Once you know, it's a typhoon outside. My goodness. We were a little over a week away from our moving date, but still no papers had been signed. It started to feel like the move was in serious jeopardy, but finally we got the news we were waiting for. Well, we did it. Got all the papers signed. It took about two hours. There's tons of papers and there's stuff that we still have to fill out, but it's only one week till we get in there. I mean, it's gonna be fast. And what do we get to celebrate with the kids? They want a McDonald's. Well, guys, the papers are signed. We are going to get into our apartment in one week. It it's is really boring. <laughs> Ruth was so excited we were going to live close to her younger sister, whose family also works with Paz here in Japan. 
We visited over 10 different places looking for the right one. And when we saw an apartment here, we knew it was the right place. Now, our kids were anxious to visit the apartment for the first time. Tis the season for typhoons, I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, you wanna see something cool whenever I get a notification? Bam, look at that. It's the girlfriend, but after she went to the beach and her hair could stand up on end. Ever since we came back to Japan from traveling this summer, life has been in a typhoon-like whirlwind. But after the typhoon comes clear weather, and that's exactly what we experienced the next day. It was the perfect setting for what was about to happen. Well guys, do you know what today is? We're going to see up the house. You guys going to see it for the first time ever? For the first time in <laughs> Everyone was excited and maybe a little bit nervous to see the new place for the first time. Okay guys, welcome home. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Let's go this way. This is Josh and Sarah's room. Oh, I have a smaller than this. Can we survive this? Oh, this is scary right here. It goes down. Oh, it's fine. Oh. Okay, let's go. Oh. This is the big room. This is the big room? It's mommy and daddy's room. What happens here? <laughs> they, have, they have to take out the screens and stuff because of the... Don't, don't say for me. Because of the, doing the balcony. This is where you can see to Aunt Debbie's. Yes, if Aunt Debbie's coming, you can see her coming down the path. Uh -huh. Oh my, I'm so okay. excited. Oh, oh, you're so right here. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody. Close your eyes, close your eyes. It's tiny. Close your eyes. It's tiny. It's tiny. Okay. Let me go there, too. How is the best animal bed going to be? So your bed will go right here. I'm on top. And then we'll put your two desks right here. Can I Yeah. Yeah, I will. We measured it. We're going to make a shelf in there. So there. Can have... We have to let the old boots kind of pants and stuff that we put on that shelf. Well, well you know what? We might be able to like put a tall little shelf right here. Thank you for a while. Is this a toilet? Oh, yeah, that's the wait, toilet. Wait, wait, wait. It's pretty big. It is big. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Oh. Why is it, where's this washing machine? Is this like a door I can open it? Yeah, that goes into the kitchen and washing machine. Oh my freaking freaking. Yeah, freaking. you have your own washing machine room, mommy. Then you have to open it off. Let's check oh. this girl. Oh, full load. It's okay, tiny. Tiny. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it is. I can't get it. I'm going to have to say, come on, Josh. This isn't there. So the refrigerator? It goes like right here, right? Right here. And then you have shelf space right here. Right? Oh, it's shelf space right there. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hey, can this be on the thing? Yay! Oh, this is No. <laughs> is it good for spinning, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this part really cool here, though? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, the balcony is huge. No, the balcony is huge. Uh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, Sarah. <laughs> no, it's all right. Sarah's okay. checking it out. Where is it? Where is it? Try to find your room. <laughs> Can I go there? Yeah. Honey. <laughs> 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 How long ago? Little dirty. So just up here. Yeah, that is a good statue place, huh? It was a lot of those in class. Well, it doesn't feel like anybody's house at the moment because it's, <laughs> it's empty. Joshua! Next time on Life in Japan. My freaking goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Packing kicks into high gear as moving day approaches. Look what we got! Keys! And once it finally does, we say our final farewells to the home of our life in Japan for over eight and a half years, and hello to a new home. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs>